Good morning. Happy Tuesday. It's go to the office day and I have discovered what is living in my backyard. Mm. I'm going to turn this around, but I don't know if you'll be able to see it because the zoom can only zoom so much on a phone, right? Am I right? They need to make cameras and iPhones and such like the human eye. Can we not do that? Can we not replicate what God did? No, we can't. Please stand by. Do you see it? That's as zoomed as it'll go, but that's pretty good. It's a rabbit. So I think all of the penny chasing something through the yard in the middle of the night, I think could be that rabbit. Isn't that sweet? In the sweet by and by. I'm not singing that the way Lester sings that. For those of you who know, you know. Lester on I'm a Survivor. If he kills a snake, he sings, In the sweet by and by, We will meet on that beautiful shore. I'm not gonna decease it the rabbit. However, I hate to even tell this because it's it's awful. It's just awful. It was all so funny after it was over with. It was traumatic, but it was funny later. My husky, he went out and of all the screaming I heard, and I opened the door and he's at the fence biting at something. So I go running outside trying to figure out what it was, what it is, what it was, what it will be. It was a rabbit and the rabbit was hung in the fence. It was a chain link fence and it was hung and it was trying to get through the fence. And my Husky was trying to not let it through the fence. Well, I picked him up and I got him back in the house. That's why now I don't want a dog bigger than I can pick up because sometimes you need to use brute force and pick him up. Am I right? So I picked his 60 pound butt up and I took him back in the house and I called my neighbor Vicky. It was midnight. After midnight, we gonna let it all hang out. We didn't let it hang out, but I called Vicky and I was like, you gotta come help. There's a rabbit stuck in the chain link fence and Zappa was trying to get it. Y'all, the rabbit was fine. It was absolutely fine. I don't know who was screaming. The rabbit scream, I don't know, perhaps. But she came over with wire cutters. Now, why didn't I think of wire cutters? I don't know. I was too traumatized and sleepy, to be quite honest. But she she's a nurse, you know, so she knows everything. She was an ER nurse. She was a flight nurse, okay? She used to go out on helicopters. So I thought Vicki knew everything. I mean, I still do because if I have something, I send it to Vicki. <laughs> I'm like, what about this boo-boo? Am I gonna die? And she's like, you're not gonna die. Just make sure it don't have red streaks going to your heart. <laughs> cool. Well, anyway, the rabbit was fine. We cut the mushy. Well, I didn't do anything but stand there. She cut the hole and made it bigger and allowed the rabbit to be set free. And I was able to check the rabbit while it was stuck and it was fine. There was no blood, there was no nothing. But good night, what a way to wake up, am I right? The only other thing that dog did, well, no, that's not true. He was uh, something else, okay? He was something else. He was, uh, uh, he was exhausting is what he was. He, Brought a possum to the door. It was still alive. I said, you're not bringing the possum inside. Put the possum down and you can come inside. But he wouldn't put the possum down. I was like, then you're stuck outside. <laughs> not really. I went out there and made him put the possum down. I was like, don't kill the possum. Don't kill it. Ugh. He just brought it to me. Like he was a cat or something. You're an awfully big cat, sir. But one night... He woke me up. He had his little rabies tag and his name because he always ran away because that's what Huskies do on his little leash. I mean, on his little leather collar. And I heard it 
tingle, 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 in the middle of the night, tingle, tingle, tingle. And I kept going, shut up, stop it, be still. <laughs> Cause I wasn't quite awake yet enough to know what to do. So I finally got up and I went walking over to the door and that's when I learned that I could walk on water, except it wasn't water, it was furniture. And I jumped straight up and landed on, I think, the couch. And and then I leapt from the couch to the something. And anyway, I had to get to the door. And as Jamie described it in her video from Suits to Boots, uh, the floor is lava. Yeah, I guess that was a game. I don't know. That was probably after my time. She's younger. The floor is lava. Uh, that's what I was playing. And I wouldn't put my feet on the ground. That dog had a snake. And I opened the door by leaning way over. <laughs> he picked the snake up and took it outside. He was my hero that night. There was a lot of other nights. He wasn't so much of a hero. He was a pain in the butt. But that night, he was my hero. Hmm. I'm about to go walk Penelope. I'm just letting it lighten up a little bit because it is a little bit dark, but I'll be back, okay? Okay. Okay, here she is. She's got on capris and sandals, very white legs. But until I get them out in the world, they're not gonna get any sun on them. They're not gonna get any sun today. Well, they might. It's partly, partly something cloudy, sunny, I don't know. Partly something today with a high of 84. I'll take it. You know, I think my mom was probably the queen. I don't know if it was ADD or ADHD. We're all undiagnosed. I mean, in my family. But I think she was the queen of it. Mostly because she was never on time. I would tell her that her doctor's appointment was an hour earlier than it was, just so that she would be somewhat ready when I got there to take her. Yeah, is that ADHD or ADD? I don't know. Stand by. Yeah, so for church, she knew it started at 11, so I couldn't lie to her about that. But I would get there at 10.30. The church is five minutes from their house. But I always like to leave at 10 till, just in case. I am that much like my father that I like to leave at 10 till. Well, my father leaves 30 minutes in advance. I'm not quite that bad to go a mile, or it might be two miles, but still. But yeah, 10.30. She's still got her towel wrapped around her, and she's got her tweezers plucking out that wild hair that appeared overnight. Her hair's wet, no makeup, and I'm like, ma, I turn into an Italian kid, ma, what are you doing? It's time, it's 1030. Will you go pick me something out and iron it? Are you kidding me here? Are you kidding me right now? Pick you something out and iron it. So I did, I did what my mother said. But I would go walk it by the bathroom first and I'd be like, this, no, this, mm, maybe, this. Well, put that top with the other pants or put that top with the other skirt or go get this skirt out of the closet. I'm like, why didn't you do this last night? Huh, why? Ugh. <laughs> I don't iron before I put stuff in the closet because, well, okay, perhaps I have too many clothes, okay? I donate a lot of clothes. I still have too many clothes. Phoenix came in my house one time and she took a tour through my house and my closet doors were open and she said, Miss Tracy, you have a lot of clothes. And I felt so bad. And then I was like, you know what? I don't feel bad because I work hard for the money, okay? And I paid for them. And when I'm done with them, I donate them to a charity like the domestic violence, something, something, so I, or the homeless, something, something. Anyway, so I don't feel bad. I mean, I do a little bit, but not that much. <sighs> what are we talking about here? I haven't been on like 18 subjects. 
Hi, can you come with me? You've already done your business. Mommy loves you so much there, little Miss Driving Miss Daisy. Little Miss Driving Miss Daisy. All right, I gotta go. Stand by. Since we last spoke, I have seen the girls. They gave Penelope a treat. I have driven to work, and now I'm about to start work, so I just wanted to say toodles for now, and I'll talk to you later. Have a good day. I'm waiting in line at Zaxby's. We're having Zaxby's for lunch. Did y'all know that Zaxby's now has fried shrimp? What? So that's what we're getting. But I don't know if y'all hear news about Atlanta, but <laughs> I think I have told y'all about the male troubles we've been having here. Yeah, the U.S. Senate is addressing it today. That's how serious it is. Stand by. Okay, so I've ordered the popcorn trip from Zaxby's. We'll see, but I gotta pull up here and wait because there's two minutes. You know, I heard they always cook fresh. Like when you order, they don't have it pre-cooked. Hmm. Anyway, yes, the U.S. Senate is addressing the issue with the mail that we've the mail issues that we've had united states postal service issues so they've been extremely slow i have downloaded the united states postal service delivery app and it tells me what's coming each day well it'll tell me that something is out for delivery you know like i don't know like my water bill is out for delivery i never get it i mean that day and then I might get it the next day, or it might be two days later, but it shows out for delivery that day. And then I still go back to, uh, Sheila sent me a card with a pair of earrings. I never got it. Never, never. It showed out for delivery all day. And then it didn't appear in my mailbox. And then we've also had tons of mail fraud, which is why they have closed all of our outside post office boxes so you can't just drive up and drop it in like it's hot no you have to go in like a commoner and drop it off and people have been arrested who work for the United States Postal Service who were opening the mail and taking pictures of the checks and then whitewashing them where they take a picture of the check and then they go through and make a copy of the check they take the name and the amount off and blah 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 that happened to my business and it was from the post office that did it not just some joker on the street we've had issues in atlanta with the mail okay but yeah we get a bunch of thieves down here thieveries in the post office and the whole thing in palmetto georgia with the all that I told the lady i said the uh dog seat that i have <laughs> has come in quite handy for other things than the dog because it's holding my drink carrier because I have three drinks. One's a large because my work neighbor um, ordered from us, you know, with us too. So I've got three drinks and the food and it's all standing, you can't see, but it's all standing in her little um, dog seat. So y'all go get you a dog seat and that way you can put stuff in it if you don't have a dog. Or if you do have a dog, you can still put stuff in it. Shut up, Tracy. I'm going back to work. Mm, ciao for now. Good afternoon. I'm not going to complain that it's so very hot in my car says it's 85 degrees. I think that's because it's been sitting in the sun, but it is like uh, 83 technically. It doesn't matter, Tracy, but here I go. I'm still looking. Oh, that's nice. It said 55 degrees. It is not 55 degrees, 83 degrees. And it said severe uh, thunderstorm. So that's nice. <laughs> Leave it to the Georgia weather. Of course, it probably happens everywhere, but as soon as it starts warming up, we're going to have a thunderstorm. <laughs> well, anyway, y'all are not going to believe what I have ordered. I mean, you might, but some of you may be afraid when you hear what it is. I probably should be afraid, too. Are you ready to know? Oh, stand by. Now then, I'm driving home. I had to get that call. Yeah, y'all aren't going to be believe what I ordered. <laughs> I'm so excited. And it was delivered today. 
I ordered it yesterday. It was delivered today. So here's what's funny about it. it okay, so it is a mini chainsaw. <laughs> Does anyone see this going bad? But they did, it does have a lot of protective gear that comes with it. Like these, I doubt the gloves are that protective, but it comes with these little protective gloves and goggles and all the things, right? And I have a little tree that's growing out back that the limbs are about that big around, right? And also, uh, just to trim bushes and stuff, you know, it's just nice because it's, it's not meant to be for huge things. Plus, it's got this protective guard on it and all like that. Well, I had told Tommy that I wanted to get a quote for someone to cut down that giant pine tree in my backyard. The last time I got a quote, it was $3,000, <laughs> which I just don't have. Anyway, that was like yesterday. I was telling her about the pine tree, right? So today, I mentioned the chainsaw, and she said, you're not going to try to cut that tree down yourself, are you? The pine tree? No! No! That thing's like 100 feet tall. Can't you see me out there with my little mini chainsaw cutting down a 100 foot tall pine tree? I don't think that's going to work. Mm-mm. No. Nope but it will work on that little i looked it up last night because it's just kind of shooting out of the ground back there by my fence and it's some sort of chinese something something i forgot what it's called but basically it's a weed it's a uh, what's that word that it takes over that's what it is i'll be back in a minute hi here it is it's taranzi is the name of it. Taranzi. It even has a sticker that says top, just in case you don't know the top from the bottom. Get that out of the way. We don't need that, do we? It'll be needing to be... Oh, it's so cute! Okay, here's our little protective gloves. I'm sure it's one size fits all. Oh, that'll be a perfect fit, won't it? Look at it. Look at it. That's lock. That's unlock. That's to protect you. I don't know what that is. I'll have to read up on it. That's where the little charger thing goes. That's so cute, isn't it? Oh my goodness. Let's see. There's a there's a there's a manual. Who needs that? There's the little battery. It came with two batteries. Maybe I should hold my mouth right. Looky there. Oh my gosh. Came with a screwdriver. And it came with a pair of sexy glasses. That's right. Sexy glasses. Except I might have to take these off to wear these because I don't know if I can wear both of them. How's that look? Let's go out there and try to cut a limb down and see how it works, okay? You know, maybe I should read the directions. <laughs> Back up. Maybe I should make sure it doesn't need oil first. To avoid danger of suffocation, keep away from babies and children. Okay. Came with an extra chain. That's nice. I'll be back. I read all the directions and it did not say apply oil first. Now, wearing the safety glasses over these glasses, I don't think that's gonna work because I need to be able to see what I'm doing and with those on there, I can't really see what I'm doing, okay? So, let's see. I think I can prop you on the fence, okay? Like that. And we just do it like this. Look at there. Wow, that was a big one. <laughs> uh, 
That's what she said. Okay. Well, that's all I'm going to do for now. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure that it worked and it works. Now, the log is there because there is a chain link fence that is backed up to that fence. So they left a space. That's where the rabbit's coming from. But I didn't want my dog or cat to be able to get through there. I don't think the cat ever even comes out this far, but that's where I saw the rabbit run to. So it goes all the way to the other side so the rabbit can get free going that way but Penny cannot follow it that way. So anyway, anyway, lots of ways going on there. But I'm gonna go inside and change clothes because it's hot, okay? Stand by. All right, that's gonna be it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember, I love you. Jesus loves you. Hope he's coming back soon because people will be crazy. And I will talk to you on the next Tracy Tries, which good Lord willing will be tomorrow. Toodles, my noodles, and stay silly, my friends. Goodbye.